And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Protohadros, which was a request from Dino Bo via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. Protohadros was an ornithopod that lived in the late Cretaceous and what's now Texas in the U.S. It lived about 95 million years ago, and it was an herbivore. Its skull was about 28 inches or 70 centimeters long, and it's estimated to be 23 feet or 7 meters long and weigh 2 tons. The holotype of Protohadros was found in the Woodbine Formation in Texas, and it includes a partial skull, ribs, hand ungulate, Also known as a finger yes. or a claw. Or hoof thing, yeah. Well, not in this case, but anyway. And a neural arch. The holotype was a subadult, so it may have gotten bigger. And it's not clear exactly what Protohadros looked like because there's only been fragments found. But based on the paleo art, it looks a lot like Edmontosaurus to me in its body shape. Its hind legs were probably longer than the front legs, and it could move quadrupedally or bipedally. Protohadros had these large, deep lower jaws and a snout that turned down at the front. It was possibly a low browser. It ate swamp plants that grew in delta streams and would have scooped up plants with its mouth. It could partially grind food. It had pleural kinesis, this cranial joint system, but the back of the skull was still pretty immobile. The type species is Protohadros birdi. Gary Bird found the ribs and ungulate in 1994 at Flower Mound, Denton County in Texas, when he was examining a road, and he told Yong Nam Lee, who arranged the excavation. It was first reported then in 1996 by Jason Head from Dedman College of Humanities and Sciences, Southern Methodist University. So Jason described and officially named Protohadros in 1998, and the genus name means first hadrosaur. That's because Jason thought it was the oldest known hadrosaur at the time, and the species name is in honor of Gary Bird. So Protoceratops was first thought to be the most basal hadrosaurid, and at the time of discovery, it was thought to show that hadrosaurids didn't evolve in Asia, but now Protohadros is considered to be a less derived iguanodontian. So it's considered to be a non-hadrosaurid iguanodontian and a basal member of hadrosauroidea. Oidea, not idae. Yes. In 1997, possible protohadros tracks were found. They were named the ichnospecies protohadrosaurichnos. Protohadros lived in a wooded marsh, and more fossils from smaller individuals, possibly juveniles or subadults, have been found at the Arlington Archosaur site near Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas. They're 30 to 50 percent smaller than the holotype, and many of them had crocodile bite marks. Huh, that's intense. Mm Mm-hmm. You can see a reconstruction of the skull of Protohadros at the Perot Museum in Dallas, Texas. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.